seems like everyone is talking about artificial intelligence lately. With such amazing tools, you can't help but wonder, will AI replace us? But I don't want to be scared of AI. I want to lean into it and use it to make my business stronger. Today, I'm going to make a new laser cut product with the help of artificial intelligence. I'm going to use chat GPT to help me come up with ideas. Okay, I'm opening up chat.openai.com. All right, so now I'm typing in some prompts. And the artificial intelligence of chat GPT quickly generates some ideas. You know, I think keychains would actually be a good idea. All right, so now I'm going to say, what are some design ideas for a keychain? And in a matter of seconds, it generates some keychain ideas. So I think I want to do animals and nature, and I want to get some more details on that, so I'm going to do some further prompts. I had the AI come up with a bunch of ideas for a nature-themed keychain. Okay, so I kind of like the idea of doing a fox. Next, I'm getting some design ideas for the fox. I wanted to break it down even further, and I asked the AI to give me some accessory ideas for the fox. Okay, I want to do something with the adventure. Then I asked the AI to list some adventures that a fox could go on. I kind of want to do the fox solving a mystery. Like, that's just something that I would never do. And I kind of just want to see how it would turn out. So we could have, like, a detective fox. <laughs> To generate designs, I'm going to use Dolly. So now we're just going to openai.com and I'm going to click on Dolly down here. So it's the same idea as ChatGPT. You just want to type in the description of the type of image that you want and then hit generate. So I'm going to type in detective, actually cute, detective fox, cartoon style simple. I don't want a ton of details. And now it's generating my art. Okay, so this is what it gave me. This guy is so cute. It's so cool because I just don't draw in these styles, so it's going to get me to a final design that I wouldn't have, you know, just by myself. Okay. <laughs> These are kind of cool, but they're not the look I'm going for. What if we say kawaii style? Oh my gosh. Okay. This guy is so cute. Oh, he is so cute. I really like the shape of his face, and I like how long his trench coat is. Oh, I really like him. And now I'm taking screenshots of my three favorite designs. So I'm going to take elements from each of these foxes that I like to create one design that I'm really happy with. So now I'm going to send these screenshots over to my iPad and work on the final design. drawing a wide face that resembled the fox in the middle. His outfit was pulled from the fox on the right and I made some changes to simplify it. And for the tail, I took inspo from the fox on the left. Now that I'm happy with my design, I'm going to open it up in Adobe Illustrator to vectorize it. First, I place the design into Adobe Illustrator. Then I lower the opacity of the design and lock it in place. Next, I trace over the design with the pen tool. I use red for the lines I want to cut, 
and blue for the lines I want to score. If you want a detailed description on how to vectorize, I have another video on my channel called Make an SVG File for Glowforge. I save the file as an SVG and these are the settings I use. All right now it's time to laser cut the design and make finishing touches. all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'm going to leave my Glowforge referral link in the description in case you are in the market for a Glowforge. You can save anywhere from 125 to 500 bucks off your Glowforge, depending on what model you get. And then I get paid that amount as well. All right, well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!